What's going on YouTube? I wanted to give a little demonstration on something I do every day when I feed these Malawi haps. This, this is what I do to kind of combat the possibility of these guys getting bloat. So I just take this real small little Tupperware and I'll scoop out about half of this Tupperware full of tank water and just set it on a towel and I'll take some, this is North Fin Cichlid food. It's the 2.2 pound bag, three millimeter pellets. And I'll just pre-soak, pre-soak some pellets for 20 minutes. That way these pellets don't grow and expand in their stomachs. Then what I usually do is, some of these fish like to eat fish or food off the top of the water. So I take some of these medium pellets and I'll also soak them. We'll be back in 20 minutes. What's going on folks? It has been 20 minutes and these guys are ready to eat. So I'll just pour this right in the top and they'll go crazy. Let's see the Strigatus always picks off the floating pellets first. Then he'll go around and scoop up the bottom ones. Oops, I forgot to turn my wave maker off. Let's do that. These cichlids are prone to Malawi bloat. They'll eat so voraciously and just stuff their bellies and then if you don't pre-soak your food those pellets obviously swell when they get wet and they'll swell inside their bellies and they can cause compaction issues so it's always safer to just soak your pellets for even 20 minutes is plenty fine that way the pellets have swelled as much as they will and the fish will eat to a comfortable level I mean, they'll still engorge themselves, but it's a less likely chance that it'll swell too much in their stomachs. Just like that, they've pretty much gotten all the food. That's how we do it, six days a week. So what I do is Monday through Friday, I feed them just exactly like this. Then every single Saturday, they get krill, Pacifica krill. I buy that in bulk. And then on Sundays, to clear their intestinal tract out, I fast them. That's how we do it. Later.